Nochimbura. The Nokenborough burial site above Blairbeg Shinty Field in Drummond the Drocket consists of a square vault of white marble around which are to be found 28 gravestones. Nokenborough could be translated to mean Burra's Hill after a man called John Burra who was supposed to have been the first person buried there or so the Ordnance Survey claimed after speaking to the local minister and schoolmaster when collecting place names in the area. However, that is to ignore the Gallic roots of the name which translates as the Hill of the Foolish Fellow, the fellow in question being possibly Patrick Grant of the Shugley family, who through financial incompetence lost his estates at Redcastle and Lakefield and ended up in prison. That name may have been created by some local wit when Patrick was buried there in 1855. Whatever the truth of the name, in 1989, Donald and Lorraine McLean of Dochgarach, who resided locally at Hazel Bray near Balnain, recorded all the details that could still be read in the memorials. This was very fortunate since some of those have since become illegible due to the passage of time and the detrimental effects of the weather. Let's go into Lochinborough. Gravestone 21 marks the last resting place of Colonel Hugh Grant, one of the many Shugley Grants buried here. He was more commonly known as Hugh Grant of Moy because he purchased the estate of Moy near Forest in 1775. However, he was very attached to Glenurchard and he it was who arranged for the family graveyard as we now know it be constructed in 1800. The youngest of the 21 children of Alexander Grant, the fourth Laird of Shugley, Hugh made his fortune fighting in India, where he was a colonel in the army of the East India Company. When he died in 1822, his funeral at Nockenborough was a huge affair with the Inverness Courier reporting that over 4,000 mourners were in attendance. Over the years, and certainly by the 1940s, the site had begun to fall into disrepair. However, in more recent times, two important members of the family, General Sir Charles Grant and Sir Theodore Chambers, carried out repairs at the graveyard, and both were later buried at the site. At the stone mark number four lies General Sir Charles Grant, KCB, KCVO, DSO. He was a distinguished soldier who was eventually head of the army in Scotland. He served in the Second Boer War in South Africa, the Great War, and was a general officer during the 1930s and into the early stages of the Second World War. He was also honorary colonel of the King's Shropshire Light Infantry from 1930 to 1946. He married Lady Sybil in 1903. She had a great love of animals and succeeded in breeding a rare strain of dog, the Shetland Toy, and indeed in 1909 she became the first person to breed the rare Pyrenean Mountain Dog in England. They lived mostly in Shropshire and when he was Commander-in-Chief of the Army in Scotland from 1937 to 1940, he bought Bjarnock Lodge in Glenachard. Locals remember him as driving a 1930s MG with guns and fishing rods sticking out the back, and he apparently kept a record of all the salmon he caught in the Highlands. Buried at Stone 15 is Sir Theodore Gervais Chambers, KBE, who died in 1957. A man ahead of his time, Sir Theodore was also the managing director of the Electromobile Company based in Mayfair, London, which manufactured electric cars from 1901 until 1920. The car was offered as a part of a contract hire scheme as early as 1904. He had a record of public service too, being Secretary and Controller of the War National Savings Scheme from 1916 to 1919, 
and in 1920 he became the chairman of Welland Garden City Limited, a post at which he remained until the company was taken into the New Towns programme in 1948. Another interesting fact about Sir Theodore is that his mother was Lucibella Hare, who was one of the first British women to climb Mont Blanc from the Swiss side. He is the last of the family to be buried at Nockenborough. The heart of the graveyard is, of course, the central mausoleum. This has inscriptions on three sides. On the east side of the vault, there is an elaborate decoration and beautiful obituary erected to the memory of Jane Hannay Grant, 1774-1838. She was the wife of Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Grant, son of Alexander Grant, 4th Laird of Shugley. He also served in the army of the Honourable East India Company. The couple had eight children and the beautiful inscription indicates that she was very much loved and sadly mourned by them all. It reads, Erected by those who desire to honour in death a mother whose devoted love to them cannot be replaced through time. A character bright and spotless in itself was upheld under the pressure of many sorrows by steadfast faith and Christian fortitude. An exalted appreciation of the fruits of righteousness which are by Jesus Christ was ever tempered by that charity which suffereth long and is kind. The sun shall be no more thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee, but the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy God thy glory. From Isaiah chapter 60, verse 19. Thus far, we have only had a brief introduction to this unusual and interesting spot. If you live locally, or if you are a visitor, it's worth your while to set some time aside and come up and see for yourself the ancient Grant burial ground of Nokenborough. <laughs>